Hey guys, Breaking RC here with a video on how to de-anodize aluminum. Now the reason you would do this is because over time, as you can see, the anodizing starts to wear out just from regular use. So by de-anodizing it, you'll help even out the look of the finish by making it all silver. There are several methods to removing the anodizing off of the aluminum. Like for example, you can use chemicals that'll strip the anodizing off the aluminum, but with that, you run the risk of damaging the aluminum, it'll give you an uneven finish, and it just, it's the easiest way, but it doesn't always turn out the best like that. But what I'm doing in this video is I'm gonna actually be using sandpaper. So I'm starting out with 180 grit, and then I move up to 400 grit, and then I finish it with 1,000. The only issue with sanding the finish is that you will have slight scratches in it when you're done. But in order to remove it, what you can do is use even finer sandpaper and then follow that up with a buffing compound which should make it much shinier and remove some of the scratches. But in my case, I want more of a matte finish so I'm gonna leave the scratches in there. I'm not gonna completely remove them so it doesn't add any gloss to it. So I just wanna leave it with this matte finish. The process of removing the anodizing off the aluminum is pretty simple. What you do is you take your roughest sandpaper and just start sanding the surface and just do this until you can see all of the green is gone or any other color that you have left. Once you finish sanding the entire surface with the roughest grit, you want to make sure that you've covered every single part of the surface that you want to remove. So for example, I've done the front face and the sides but I haven't done the back because the back won't be very visible so I just left it green. But you need to make sure that you remove all of the color because the finer grits aren't going to be able to remove it. After you finish sanding, now you can go ahead and start buffing with a buffing compound. If you want to leave it like this with the matte finish, you can do that. But if you want to help to make it a little bit shinier, take a little bit of buffing compound. You really don't need much, just a, little, just a dab of it and then just rub it in. and just keep working it and you'll notice your towel should start to get a little bit black from the aluminum. And just keep working it until you can't see the polish on the finish anymore and you should be good to go. And here's the finished product. As you can see, it's just bare aluminum. All of the green is removed, so it's left with this nice raw finish. As you can see, here's the finished product on the car. There's no more of the green anodizing left and it's just raw aluminum, which looks really nice.